Good evening. Tonight I'm going to be finding the value of x for cos of x equals negative half. Okay, so let's get started right away. First I'm going to just remind you guys that we should probably be using the special triangles and those are the 30, 60, 90 triangle which measures 1, root 3 and 2 and the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Oops, that's a negative 45. Let, let me just rewrite it. Here. 45, 45, 90, which is the measures are 1, 1, and root 2. Okay. Actually, in this question, we won't need this guy, but I'll leave it there anyways. Um, first, uh, let's ignore the, the this signal here, the negative sign, and uh, just take a look at this special triangle. We want cos to be half. Um, in order for cos to be half, we need this guy right here to be at the adjacent side and the hypotenuse to be 2, of course. But the, the hypotenuse of this triangle will always be 2. Um, so if we choose angle 60, this will be 1 over 2. So x could be actually 60 degrees if cosine was positive half but it's negative half. So what are we going to do with this piece of information that x could be 60 degrees? <laughs> um, well, we're going to have to use the four quadrants and all students say calculus, meaning that in this quadrant and that quadrant, cosine would be positive. However, in quadrants 2 and 3, cosine would be negative. Hmm. Okay, so let me just draw the 60 degree angle here. And, but we're not interested, in, that's not an actual answer, right? Uh, I'm going to cross that out for now. But we know that if we actually had this angle here and over here, those could be actual answers. And I'm going to show you the standard position angles. The first one would be this one. And if, if this angle here is 60 degrees, then we could form a triangle just like this one. That would actually give us... <laughs> Let me try to connect the, these sides here. It would actually give us um, the same measures and would actually provide us with negative half for cosine since this value here is negative 1 for x and the hypotenuse measures 2. Uh -huh. So we, all we need to do is to find this standard position angle here, which would be just 60 degrees taken away from 180. So 180 minus 60. 120. So x is 120. That's one answer. However, we also have another answer right down here. This is looking terrible. It's about to get pretty messy. <laughs> okay. So if this is 60 degrees also, and we have another standard position angle, which is this one, whoop, in the third quadrant, we will also get the same result for cosine, of course, just because the x value will remain at negative 1 and the hypotenuse will still be 2. Oops, I want that to be black. Black, here. Um, great. So how can we get this angle? Because we know that this angle is also 60 degrees, we can just add it to 180. So 180 plus 60, x can also be 240 degrees. Because that's 60, and that's 180 right here. So that is our answer. Hopefully I made good sense. And I have many other questions very similar to, the, to this one at this website right here. So you guys can take a look later. Once again, 
Thanks for watching.